Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, I wanna to show you how you could remove the background from video using a green screen. So you can create something that looks like this. And now it's time for our weekly weather forecast. You wanna sum multiple values, simply hit Alt and Equals and it'll sum up all the values above. You can even throw yourself in front of moving images just like this. It, it really wasn't me, trust me. It was not me, no, it's someone else. I am not the saboteur. Whoa, how cool is that? And I'm gonna show you step by step how you can pull this off. I've recently pulled together a video showing you how you could remove the background without a green screen. So why use a green screen? Well, I think it's a little bit easier. There are fewer steps involved. It's a little less taxing on your PC, and I think the output also turns out better. Of course, you're gonna have to buy a green screen, but luckily they don't cost that much. All you need is green material. You could get it for as little as $15 on the low end. I personally have a $45 green screen, so it's not gonna cost you that much to do this. All right, well, why don't we jump in and I'll show you how you can do this step by step. First off, to be able to use a green screen, well, you need to buy a green screen. And like I mentioned before, green screens are pretty inexpensive. You can pick them up on Amazon for as little as $15. After all, all you need is some green fabric behind you. I picked up a newer five by seven green screen and it turned out being a little bit larger than I expected. When I opened it up, this thing was pretty massive. Although it turns out that's a good thing because you want your green screen to fill up the entire frame behind you. To stand up the green screen, I could hook it onto a stand or you could simply lean it up against the wall and that'll work just as well. Next, once you have your green screen, one of the most important things, and I can't stress this enough, you wanna make sure that you light your green screen evenly. The software that we're going to use in a moment will look for a specific shade of green. And if you have light spots and dark spots on your green screen, the output isn't going to look quite as good. So you wanna make sure your green screen is lit very evenly. I'm now on my PC and next, we need to get some software that will allow us to apply a chroma key to our video footage. For this, I recommend using OBS or Open Broadcaster software. You can get this at obsproject.com. The thing I love about OBS is it works on all different platforms. It works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. It's free and open source, so it won't cost you anything. I personally use this for screen recording on my channel, and I also use it to capture the video in my intro and in my wrap up. If you're interested in just a getting started tutorial on OBS, I've included a link in the description. Otherwise, go ahead and download OBS and install it, and then rejoin this video. Once once you finish installing OBS, go ahead and launch it and you'll see an interface that looks like this. First, we need to add a new scene. In the bottom left-hand corner, there's a section called Scenes. Let's click on the plus icon. Once we click on Add, let's give a name for our scene. I'm gonna call this Green Screen. Once you type in your name, click on OK. Next, I need to add a source. We still see a black screen here. I need to get my video in. Let's go down to the section called Sources and click on the plus icon. I wanna add my own video footage and for that, I'm going to select Video Capture Device. Device. This is your camera or your webcam. Let's click on this. Next, it'll ask us to enter the name. I'm just gonna leave it with the default video capture device and then click on OK. Check that out. Now I can see myself. Under device in this drop-down list, you can select which camera you wanna use. I wanna use my Camlink 4K so I could pull in footage from my Sony camera. All of these other settings look good, so I'm gonna click on OK. This now drops me on the main screen and you could see the green screen in back of me. I tried my best to light it evenly and I think it looks pretty decent. Now I still have this green screen here. How do we get rid of the green screen? Well, let's go down to sources and on video capture device, let's right click on that. Within this menu right near the bottom, there's an option called filters. Let's click on this. This opens up the filters dialog and down at the bottom, there's a section called effect filters. Let's click on the plus icon to add a new effect filter. And on this menu, there's an option for chroma key. Now you might be wondering, well, what is a chroma key? What we're doing just in very basic terms, we're going to select a color and we're gonna make that color the transparent color. That's basically what a chroma key does. So let's click on chroma key. Once we click on that, we need to give it a name. I'm gonna leave it 
set to chroma key and click on OK. Whoa, check that out. The background just disappeared from behind me. Now we have a whole bunch of different settings here within the chroma key effect filter. For instance, we could set the key color type. Maybe you have a green screen, but you could also have a blue screen or maybe you have a magenta screen. You could even choose a custom color if you have some other type of screen. The reason most screens are green or blue is because skin tones have very little green or blue or those are the most dissimilar from your skin tone. So that tends to work the best. Also, you don't have that many people wearing green clothing, so it tends to be a pretty good color to choose. I'm gonna go with green. Now the nice thing about my green screen is it has two sides. It also has a blue side as well, so I I could choose which color works better in my situation. Down below, I have a number of different settings that I can set to make sure the effect is as good as possible. Now, when you look at my image here, you notice that there's a little bit of green showing up in the hair and a little bit of a green halo around my shirt. I could adjust these settings to reduce that. For instance, here's an option called key color spill reduction. The green is spilling a little bit on my hair and I wanna cut back on that. So I could tweak these settings until I'm satisfied with the results. Maybe I'll increase this uh, to about 120. And now I think that looks pretty good. I no longer have as much green on me. Once I'm done with all the different settings, I could click on close. Let's say as you were going through this, maybe you tweaked something more than you should have. You could also restore back to the default. Once you're all done, let's click on close. I'm now back in the main interface and it's removed the background pretty well, but now I wanna put other content in back of me. So we need to add some additional sources. Now, just like we added the video, let's go back down to the bottom left-hand corner under the rectangle area called sources and let's click on the plus icon again. Now I could add any type of source that I want. For instance, I could add a browser window. I could pull in my desktop. I could pull in an image. I could pull in a window, like say a browser window. Whatever type of content I wanna have appear in back of me, I could select that here. Now just for a simple example, I'm gonna use an image as my background. When I click on image, I'll stick with the default name and now I just need to browse to where the image is. I've selected an image, that all looks good. I'm gonna click on okay. Now right now, you see that the image appears in front of me. In a moment, I'll show you how we could switch the layer, but first I wanna resize the image so it uses up the full screen. Now this is always my favorite example with chroma key. Whenever you see the local news and they have the weather, this is the perfect example where they use a chroma key to have their news anchor stand in front of the weather. Now here I have the weather on the topmost layer. If we go back down to sources, here you'll see that image is on top. This is the weather image at the topmost layer. And then I have my camera as the bottom layer here. To move my camera to the top layer, I simply click on this one and I can drag and drop it up to the top. And now you see that I appear in front of the image and now I could do a true weather forecast. For instance, check this out. Sunday is looking like a hot day. It's gonna be 85 degrees. And then on Monday, oh, you gotta kind of figure out the orientation. On Monday, we're gonna go up to 89. And then Tuesday, we're going up to 92. We have a hot week coming up. So you can have fun being a weather forecaster, whatever you wanna do with chroma key. Once you're all set and you have your scene and all your sources set up, down in the bottom right hand corner, you can start streaming. If you wanna to stream to YouTube, you wanna to stream to Facebook, to Twitch, wherever you wanna stream, you can do that. Or alternatively, I could hit start recording and I could have it record an MP4 that I can then use anywhere. But I've effectively now removed the background from me. I've gotten rid of the green screen and I can now stand in front of any other type of content, whatever it happens to be. All right, well that was a quick overview of how you can remove the background from video using a green screen and using all free software. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you wanna see me cover any other topics in the future, leave a note down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.